All right, here we go, and we have another article review for Dazzlecat in the Welcome to Tangare article. This is a primer article from uh, the, uh, is it Council of World Building, or I'm not sure what it is, the, the COW from World Anvil. So let's just take a look at this. Okay, so there does seem to be a, a heavy reliance on layout, but that's okay. Boo. All right, so we'll have this picture. Realista, Mage, Storm Clark, Sea Turtle, Air Beamont. Circle of Laurel Builders. Okay, thank you. All right, so let's uh, zoom in and take a look at it. The Age of Sail is dawning, as the realms of the world strive to become masters of the Basquet Sea. Okay, is it intentional that you don't have a U after this Q? That's, uh, that, that's your spelling, but, okay. That just, just brings it out as it's not, is it's not English, okay. And the... The only time that a U doesn't appear after Q in English is at the end, the at the end of a word like Iraq. But okay, um, a place of warm waters, beautiful skies, and tropical beaches. Riches abound here for those who can get them and bring them home. Braving the best KC means. Out sailing rivals when you can, or defeating them in ship to ship combat when you cannot. Many ships have ramming bows and sturdy crews for boarding other ships. Though no formal declarations of war have been made, there is always the risk of battle with rivals or pirates. Hmm. Good to know. I think that's a great introduction that you have. The um, the difference is the Tangare, you didn't mention Tangare in here. It says, welcome to Tangare, and you talk, and you're talking exclusively about the Basque Sea. So I'm not sure what Tangare is. Okay. So, but, um, I think this was a fun introduction. And yeah, sailing the best KC, beautiful, beautiful image. All right, uh, hmm, wonder what that formatting. Oh, okay, the main weapon aboard the ship is Realista. Here's a picture of the Realista. Realistas are Bastille, Ballista style weapons. The great bowstring of the Realista slides hollow clay gourds along its base rail. This rail gives the Realista greater aim than a catapult or other such weapons. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Better aim on a pitching. Rolling C is the main reason why these are the preferred weapons for ships. The clay gourds are filled with alchemies of ichor or fire, doing great damage to ship and crew when it strikes. Interesting. The Realista, all right. Halgra, the storm mage, magic on the sea, bones the storm cleric. I'd be curious, Is what's the propulsion? Is this like a giant crossbow? Or what projects the, the clay gourds along its... Oh, great bowstring. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Ships often have storm ages who strive to provide favorable, favorable conditions for the ships and their sails. Okay, that's a good, strong sentence. 
it explains exactly you know the mages the um and the and their purposes so that was a really good uh first sentence there the storm mages will cast lightning upon enemy ships should combat occur, uh, occur. Storm clerics not only help provide favorable conditions, they offer healing to the crew. The best ships have both a mage and a cleric, sometimes more than one of each. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and reading this sentence, um, I think it's good. You do talk about the Storm Mage, which we have the picture. We have the Storm Clerics. But the introductory line that you have here is, Ships often have Storm Mages and or Clerics who strive to provide. Well, no, maybe not, because the Cleric doesn't strive... Um, To provide condition. Yeah, I don't know. No, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Um, the storm mages here and storm clerics here. Um, probably get rid of the word the here. So that you have a little bit, a bit more parallelism between the two sentences. I'm not a fan of having one sentence per paragraph, but here, where it's kind of more of a bullet point list, I could understand that. Okay, Great Steam Turtle and the Kraken. Here be sea monsters. Arr. It's It is spacing for layout. Then that's a good decision to do. From those who build their cities beneath the waves to the great monstrous beasts that swim it, terror awaits those who dare to sail the Basque Sea. Great fortunes and glory come to those who dare to sail and survive. Okay. Upon the Basque Sea, hidden away from the main shipping routes, lies a small crescent island. One lowly town stands on this island behind a harbor protected with a maze of barrier sandbars. These sandbars shift as storms blow by, requiring the harbor to be dredged every so often. Sailors can find themselves pressed into doing this work. Those who come here do so as it's one of the rare few ports they can enter and not be haunted, hunted by any authorities. For this is a pirate's haven. This is Tangeray. Okay, perfect. I, okay, and I like the reveal at the end. Uh, I like the, for this is a pirate haven. This is Tangeray. Okay. Um... I'm just wondering, does this belong to have higher prominence in the article higher up? Because, I mean, it's a, it's a good paragraph, and I do like how it explains what Tangeray is, and that's something that we're missing up here. More than pirates do come to Tangeray. Huh. I'd get rid of it. Get rid of do. More than pirates come to Tangeray, trading companies who will not ask questions can buy goods on the cheap here. The well-to-do nobles and various scoundrels carry out underhanded dealings on, at the only inn, anchors away, or while eating in the fine, at the finest dining in town, Rootman's House of Flapjacks. Others come to shop at the old pawn shop, where booty too risky to be sold elsewhere can be purchased. Great adventures can be had from the desperate, the dastardly, or the daring. Who will you meet? What will you find? 
Let's enter Tangare and find out. I am trying a funnel effect. Start broad and narrow down to a point. Okay, very good. Okay. But here's the... Qu okay, but here's the question. Um, which is the funnel? Tangare is a city. Uh, or town on the island in the bay. And so... Um, the article is Welcome to Tangare. But then we talk... But it's a challenge. I don't know. Um, it... it, it, it I don't know. Okay, talking about the article in general. Love the article. I think it's a great one. It has a great overview of the world. You get to understand it. You get a good feeling of it. The sea, but it's only the sea that we're talking about. We have no idea anything around the sea, but that's, I don't think, important for this article. We're talking about the Basque Sea. And so I think this is a, it's a good tight focus because we're talking about, um, about Tangare. So is there a nickname for Tangare? Um, like, welcome to Tangare, comma, pirate haven of the Basque Sea. And it would make the title longer, but it would immediately tie in what the what Tangare is and its relationship to the sea without uh I think needing to change things. But yeah, like just the recommendation, your mileage may vary, but welcome to Tangare uh pirate um Pirate Haven of the Basque Sea, or something, or, um, a pirate haven. Yeah, you, the Pirate Haven of, yeah. So that, that's my only suggestion, is possibly your choice, but possibly uh, expanding the title of it so we get the immediate relationship between what Tangare is, what the Basque, Basque AC is, and we can move, move forward with that. But yeah, this does sound, sounds like a, a very intriguing setting. And depending on the D&D uh, &D setting that you have, if you have all of that uh, ship stuff added in as uh, either homebrew or an additional module. This is going to be a great place for it. All right. There we go. That's the end of that article review. Oh, you wanted to have the Pirate Haven to be a surprise when revealed. Okay, um, that then my then I would but I would still stick with my comment, but instead of saying pirate haven, is it a the gem of the Basque Sea, uh, the hidden oasis of the Basque Sea? Um, is there a name? If is there a name for Tangare that people use when they don't want to say Tangare. You know, the Big Apple, it's that's New York City. You know, the city that never sleeps. Well, that's about 10 of them. But, you know, that could be Welcome to Tangare, the hidden pearl of the Basque Sea or something like that. Again, your call. That way, and it does keep the reveal that it's a pirate haven to the 
to the bottom because I admit that this is a real for this is a pirate haven. This is Tangray. That is a great line. Uh, uh yeah, Tangray uh, on the Basque Sea. I'd say of maybe. Well, on the Basque Sea. Is an island on a sea, or is an island in a sea? I don't know. But yeah, I, I think that would be a good header.